Hi friends, it's Carly Clark Zimmer, certified body mind coach and business consultant and embodied tech expert for the body mind coaching certification program. Whew, that's a mouthful. So today in this issue, we're talking about radical self-care or redefining self-care. And I just wanted to share a little bit of my story and how I came to this body mind process of basically making decisions in my life. And it really, like the moment that I, it really started to sink in for me was years ago, I worked at a five-star spa in Manhattan. This spa was like the fanciest place to work. And it was an amazing job at the time because I had never had financial independence before. And with this massage therapy job, I had health insurance, I had benefits, I had vacation time and sick time. I mean, it was unheard of. But I was also one of the most highly requested therapists at the spa. Uh, there was a, a time where I was working five days a week, seeing about five clients a day. And some of those were 90 minute massages. So my body was super taxed and it was just in pain all the time. And I was basically self-medicating with too much wine, if I'm being totally honest, right? Pain relievers. I was coming home in tears. Um, my arms were super, my arms, my back, my neck, headaches all the time. It was a mess, right? And I would have to commute an hour and a half each way because I the spa was in Manhattan and I lived in Long Island at the time. So this went on and on for a number of years until one day I actually, my husband picked me up from the Long Island Railroad Station in Syosset, New York at 11 o'clock at night and I had a full-blown panic attack, right? Hyperventilating with um, just anxiety and stress and like I couldn't handle it anymore. My body couldn't handle the stress of commuting and the thought of having to go back in and touch somebody else. And like, I loved what I did, what I did. I love massage, but my body was just like screaming at me. And so I had a few days off to kind of process all the emotions and what I was feeling. And what my husband and I worked out was, okay, in three months, you'll put in your notice. Well, I walked back into the office that next day which wasn't a Monday, it was whatever, I worked on the weekends, all weekends, so it, it may have been a Monday, but it was, anyway. The next day I went into work, and we had this team meeting, and I'm, oh, I, you know, I'm a, a rule follower, so I always go, I would always go to the meetings, I'd always be early, and my body would not let me go. I was literally standing in my treatment room. My organs felt like they were twisting in knots and I could not go to that meeting. I just felt nauseous. I felt like my body took over. My body was like, hey girl, it is time to make a different choice. We are giving notice today, not three months from now. And so after the meeting, um, I went and found my manager after I was hiding in my treatment room, right? And I gave her notice. And immediately the energy shifted. Immediately I felt a lightness and an expansiveness of what might be possible if I wasn't chained to that pattern of stress. And so when we talk about redefining self-care or radical self-care, this is the definition for me. It is having the awareness to listen to those messages and then having the courage to actually make a change and act on it. It was not easy. That job was the golden handcuffs for me. I made nearly six figures every year. And if you're a healer and a massage therapist, you know that's a big freaking deal, right? And to do that on your own can be a challenge unless you're a body mind coach, and then we teach you how to do it differently, <laughs> which I did eventually learn when I started working for myself. So what I've seen is that when we ignore those signals that our body sends us, it could be 
an idiopathic illness, right? You're tired all the time. The doctors can't quite figure out what, what's wrong with you. You spend lots of time going from uh, one specialist to another and the pieces aren't coming together. What I found, right, is that in my 13 years as a healer, there is an underlying cause that is usually connected to your purpose for being. Your body is trying to get your attention to make a shift and a change and to bring you into alignment with your purpose, with how your heart is calling you forward. And our brain likes to rationalize and give us all of the reasons why we can't. 401k, union job, vacation time, sick time, um, great pay, retirement, like all of these things are really sexy things, right? And being unhappy, feeling like crap, being in pain all of the time, self-medicating cycle of stress and, and more pain, right? And not living in alignment with what my heart was calling me forward to do is the thing that actually starts to snowball, right? And it can lead to all sorts of things. I believe it can lead to addiction. I believe it can lead to depression, anxiety, um, chronic illness, stress in your relationships. It can lead to all of these things. So my call to action for you today is to ask yourself if you took a moment to listen to your heart and to allow yourself to give a little bit of attention into what your heart is calling you forward to do. What is that shift or change or business or dream or whatever it is, right? What is your heart calling you forward to do? And what if you just started to listen to that just a little bit more, just 1% more? What might be possible for your life? As I'm recording this video, and as I wrote the article here, I'm looking out and I might have to just show you. Let's see. Okay, so this is Galway Bay. This is my view, my view that I pinch myself every single day. Those are, those two little dots out there are traditional Irish boats. They're amazing. And this is the view that I get to, I get to live every day. And part of that is, a big part of it is from following that alignment. As I'm writing this, right, as I'm recording this video, I've got the seagulls, I have the sea view, I get to spend time with my husband, I get weekends back, I got weekends back, like this is magical, right? These are the little tiny shifts that I find with my own clients we're all looking for. Those moments of connection, little moments of our coffee or a cappuccino, a moment with our family or our friends, enjoying the sunshine, that is the stuff that life is made of. And so if we're not enjoying it along the way and we're just waiting for that day when we can retire, we may not be well enough to actually enjoy it when we get there. So radical self-care to me is listening. It's taking a chance on yourself. It's taking a chance on listening to your heart's calling, your desire that's put deep inside of you. It's betting on yourself. It's investing in yourself. My husband laughs at me all the time because he's like, what do you want for Christmas or your birthday? I'm like, oh, I want to take this coaching program. Oh, I want to buy this book. Oh, I'm saving to work with so-and-so. This is literally investing in myself is the number one thing that I have done that has in, entirely changed my life from working in a small, dark room, right, to working in a beautiful, light-filled office with my husband in the next room, 
and the, a sea view and watching the boats and the seagulls. I've gotten here by taking a chance on the dream that was in my heart and by investing in the support that I needed to actually get there. And honestly, I feel like we can spend a lot of money on a lot of stupid shit. <laughs> and investing in yourself is one of the best ways that you can make that dream come true. Because when you invest in yourself and you work with someone that has gone and walked that path before you, when you do that, they can save you years. Body Mind saved me years of trying to figure this out on my own because, in fact, I did try to figure it out pre-Body Mind. And it, as I was working at that other job, I, I took a couple of other programs and I just spent a lot of time creating behind the scenes, trying to figure it out on my own. It wasn't until I stepped into Body Mind, I invested in myself, I showed up for myself a thousand percent, Following that alignment, taking action, showing up, following the alignment, taking action, showing up. When I feel called to something, I do it. When I see the opportunity, I take it. When I see the person I can help, I let them know that I can help them. Following my heart, following the alignment every step of the way is radical self-care to me because I know that I'm showing up for myself and 40, 50, 60 years from now, I'll be so proud of it. And there, there will be no regrets. Okay? So my call to action to you again today is what might be possible if instead of all of the reasons why you're focusing on why you can't do it and the rationalizing of why you can't follow your heart and that desire that's put in your heart or that dream that's put in your heart. What if, what if you actually went for it?